So question says a drug comes in 10 mil vials containing 3.5 milligrams per 2 mils. And then the question says if 5 mils from a vial is administered, how many milligrams is this? So first analyzing, because we want to use our want over have times the third number, what it comes in, formula. So to use this formula, we need to first identify the want and the have, whatever is easier for you. The clues here could be, first, that slash, the, the pure, it's the concentration of the drug. So this is all about the drug. 3.5 milligrams dissolved in 2 mils is the concentration. But of course, the 10 mil vials is the full um, vial volume. We don't need that probably for the calculation. We need the concentration. But the size of the vial is important when you're going to go choose the vial or the, the drug in the cupboard. So anyway, for now, we're not going to look at the, this part of the information. We just know the vials are 10 mils. But this is our have, the concentration of the drug, the pur, the slash, all the clues are there. Now, the 5 mils is the other number we have around here, is associated with the word administered that is what we are going to give. That's one of the words on the list for the want. That's to do with the patient, how much the patient needs. So how are we going to set up the formula? Well, we start by writing the fraction want over have. The want must be the 5 mils. And that bit of information now is gone. We've used it. Now on the bottom we need to write the have. So it should be one of these two numbers here, the 2 mils or the 3.5 milligrams. Basically, we need to make sure whatever we write on the bottom must match the top in terms of units. So in this case, what we have to use is the 2 mils because that's the only one that will make top and bottom match. And then so once the two mils is gone, we multiply by what it comes in, well, in this case, by the third number, which is the 3.5 milligrams. Just making sure then we visualize that mils are matching and we can cancel or ignore them. So the calculation to be done is 5 divided by 2 times 3.5. So we get 8.75 and the unit has to be the only unit that was left there, there in our equation. So 8.75 milligrams of the drug. If you need, you can round that to 8.8 .8 milligrams, but I think being 8.75 is probably a good answer.